there and welcome back. Today we talk about the Strymon Night Sky. So it took quite a lot for me to get this pedal and uh, because mostly I have all the ever on the market so I was like do I need another one or uh, I have enough? And of course the answer to this question is always you never have enough, right? So I decided to buy one and uh, Today I want to talk about it because uh, it's a pretty interesting pedal that definitely go in some territories that my other reverbs won't go. Anyway, before going on, as usual, some way you can support my page. Please subscribe, uh, share the page if you want, uh, buy from the affiliate link down below or become a Patreon. Uh, where I will go more deep usually and show more of the process where I create music and blah, 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 you know, by now. So let's talk about Night Sky, what it is. Uh, they call it a time warped reverberator. Uh, it's not uh, your regular reverb, let's say. It had some interesting uh, new take on it and definitely is a machine that will suits well for ambient music, I would say, or experimental music. It wouldn't be the first and only uh, reverb that I would have. I don't know if I said delay before. Anyway, uh, because it doesn't offer the kind of... Uh, uh, regular reverb you are used to uh, so it's a great addition to me to a uh, uh, arsenal of reverb and there's never enough reverb anyway let's listen again to what i was doing before uh, it's a sequence that i'm doing with my trusty oxy uh, sequencing with one channel only four different strip of the performer so it creates a always evolving interesting um, simple sequence and I'll play a little so we can listen what this guy does and then I will go more in depth uh, telling you about all of his ins and out. <laughs> So, I guess already by now you can have an idea of how this pedal sounds and to me it's a really great uh, addition to the, or a complement to the Vermona. Uh, I will go through a few other patches and then maybe use it with my uh, new love machine drum to hear how it behaves with rhythm. It's always interesting. So, let's go through it and analyze what's happening in the night sky so we have let's start from the first part that is the uh, decay decay it's where you actually decide the kind of reverb that's happened and you have a texture uh, where there are three algorithms sparse that is a sort of granular dense is more of a plate reverb and diffuses your more washed out um, kind of uh, ambient reverb. You have length and sides. Length, of course, is your decay length. And sides decide the, the, the as you would be the size of your room, right? The, 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 how big it is the room where the reverb uh, happens. 
I guess. Uh, it's called size pitch because it can be used also as a, a pitch shifter and uh, that you can also play with a keyboard. So you can uh, sequence this guy with a keyboard whenever uh, it, it's useful when you put an infinite. Let me tell you how. Say now we have this infinite basically it's a freeze the delay right now you can play the side speech it could be smooth half step of a scale or a scale and you can select many scale here this is the minor then there's a major whatever you have to check on the uh, manual for that so this could be an interesting thing because uh, you can create interesting stuff. Because basically the, all the other control of the reverb will keep happening when you have this infinite and you can have your scale. So right now I could send a, a MIDI signal and play it. Anyway, that's just to talk about that. So this is your first part where you basically decide how the night sky will sound, how the how they call the reverb core will sound. Next to it, you have your dry and wet uh, knobs. I love when pedals have this way because I can use it at the end of my chain and somehow I have my dry signal that this is unity and this is plus 3 uh, dB. I can use it as a sand effects because I will have my dry signal and decide how much of the reverb signal to blend in. I wish all the pedal works like this. Then, let's move to the high, low cut and high cut. This is simply, low cut, simple, simply cut the low end of it. As you can hear, it just cut the end. The high cut is that it works in two different modes. When it's a regeneration in a region, it kills the high end of the regenerative reverb part. So, the uh, let's say the uh, feedback, the uh, how you call it, the delayed part of the reverb that keep happening, keep being regenerated, are starting being darker and darker. Instead, if you're using low pass, this will uh, work similarly to a, a synth. Uh, filter and you can decide here the frequency and if you press this you can set the peak the resonance somehow right so it's interesting because it can create uh, another playable part of the night sky with your hand then you have on top of it the mod part the mod part it's an lfo basically with different shape including an envelope follower so it listens to the dynamic of the uh, sound speed and depth and you can target the verb so basically it only uh, change the verb core the reverb core sound or the pitch of it or the filter If you use the verb of pitch, it can create the kind of warbliness that we all love, right? We all love. Nice. I forgot to mention that you can select also the pre-delay, pressing this button, and then moving the reverb. There's few, few uh, control that are not 
on the face of it, so you need to remember, but they're pretty easy to remember and to play with it. Okay, last part, but not the least, it's our uh, voice part. So here, what happened is that you have an interval selector and a shimmer part, basically, it does what does it add shimmer to it and here you decide the interval of it and the shimmer can happen just on the input so on the first reverberation or in the regenerative part so it keep happening in the background so as you can hear it's way more present then you have glimmer glimmer basically enhance the spectral and the harmonic quality of the high hand or the low end or nothing and you can add the volume of the glimmer by pressing that and deciding with this so as you can hear you have different sound and then you have a pre pre drive that is pre-reverb or post-reverb you can save uh, different Mac I think four bank I'm not sure about that but not just eight so it's many bank we just uh, pressing this button it will blink and then you decide the destination blink again saved uh, that said, again, you have the infinite. The infinite can work in two, or, or two ways. One, it's that once you press it, the night sky won't uh, analyze any other's audio and it will just stay there. Probably more interesting than what it is now because right now it's in the basic mode. Well, it keep analyzing the audio. So you have the infinite plus the background music coming on. And you can decide that with a startup, starting up or powering up, whatever you want to call it. Mostly that's it. I just have to mention that this guy has also a sequencer that I'm not yet understand really how I can use it. But let me show you. It's easier to use it with the infinite because you have already something in the buffer. So you all this and now you are in the sequencing mode. So you have a maximum of eight steps that you can remove. If you remove step, it just jump from one to the other. It doesn't have like a mute, say. So that's why this knob is called pitch, because you select one step. Let's put it in scale. And then you can basically create a sequence. And how you start it, you just press twice the tap tempo and then it will go. The fun part is like, you can still work You can still work on the uh, other parameters. So you can create some interesting uh, sequence if you want. It's probably cool when you start working with different texture than note. Maybe with the rhythm later we will we will see what happens. I'm not super... Uh, a knowledge about this uh, mode yet I'm I don't use it so far I didn't use it but I, I feel that it could be fun as a texture generator and you can change the scale and see what happened 
you can get out of it just pressing here and boom all right let's hear something on a slow chord so let me load a new sequence here let's play it now let's load fun oxy has these uh, chord sequencer that I kind of love so whatever let's go back it's not the oxy review so basic sound and let's bring in the reverb drive post let's remove the drive just the wet sound save this setup because I really like so let's save it here very interesting how uh, it had that layer of texture that you want okay so I took my trusty and lovely machine drum just create a quick um, sequence and let's hear how it work with the night sky
very interesting. Very interesting. I usually never play with the reverb and drum machine, but this, uh, this is very cool. Let's let's make it weird. I'm using a control old machine. One of the things why I love the machine drum. Love this. Wow, uh, uh, I'm really impressed right now. It's uh, it had this uh, this texture that I I want to sample. Let's save it, right? Because why not? Lovely. Let's try with this one to have uh, uh, the quantize. So. I'm going random. Let's see what's up there. to mention that with shape you decide how this morph uh, these go step by step there's also a morph function that I never used so far that change the sound you have now to the next one so you can create a sort of uh, transition that could be very interesting when I will have the time to learn about it interesting even the sequence not incredible that from this we were playing that other loop it's just using one machine that control every parameter I love that here we are again again Okay, so let's jump to the conclusion with the dubby things in the background. 
Uh, Shrimon Night Sky uh, would be my only uh, or my first reverb. No, I don't think so because it's very creative, but it also doesn't have uh, the bread and butter reverb that you might need. So, of course, if your production is really aimed to ambient or something out of the out there, I don't know how to define it. This could be amazing, and I know for sure that now having a collection of other reverb, this has a place on my table because it does something that other reverb doesn't do. So also with the rhythm. Um, it's a very handsome pedal. It's funny to play with it and it leads to interesting results. So it's what I like. It's what I like. And if I have to be honest, I already toss the packaging. And when I do that, it means that the instrument strike a chord and I will definitely use it because most of the time I resell things or you know you know how's the drill uh, so I'm keeping it I like it it took a while for me to decide to invest in a new one because of, of course it's something different and I'm not super fan of shimmer the uh, reverbs but this one definitely is usable it's not that the cheesy shimmer that a lot of other uh, reverb have then strymon good job i like it and uh, yeah I, I i own a lot of strymon products and uh, i'm a strymon fan that said thanks for watching i hope this was interesting and i will definitely see you next week please share or support the page and it's Christmas I know you might watch this video next summer but now it's a week from Christmas and so Merry Christmas ciao guys I'll see you soon